fall season here, seventh inning stretch and all that, so it's time for hot dogs. Let's do it right. Fire it up. chilly here for uh, the start of baseball season, but we're rolling. It's Bill West, Jack Weybor. It's great TV, and we're coming to you, as always, from the birthplace of American barbecue. It's a little unseasonably cool in Charleston, Mount Pleasant area mm -hmm. today, but hey, we're going to go ahead and roll out some hot dogs anyway. Hot dogs? So... On a stick. Everybody, I guess, has a... I'm from Chicago, and... Uh, I was raised on Chicago style hot dogs. Everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, so you, what, what, what's your favorite style of hot dog? I think I like a good solid all beef wiener. Yeah. And I really enjoy Chicago dog, but I, I pretty much like hot dogs anyway. I can eat a hot dog pretty much anyway, anytime. The only thing I don't like on my hot dog is ketchup. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of like anything, lately since I've been kind of dieting, this isn't working that great, but I, uh, I've actually been doing the turkey dogs. Turkey like dogs are good. 40 calories a piece. Yeah. And, and, you know, as long as I got the right toppings on it, I'm happy. Well, you know, you got your uh, your turkey wieners. They, they, they're they flavored well. They're lean. They're pretty much fat for you. And I think it's a good, healthy choice for a hot dog. So, actually, speaking of healthy choices, do you have my beer over there? I do. This oh. is the beer, the show that's about a beer in length. And since we're having hot dogs and talking baseball, What's, cheers. Uh, hot dogs and baseball is what, and beer is really what it's all about. So what am I doing? I saw this kind of cool tip. And what are I you guess doing? it's chow. Well, I'm gonna do a spiral cut on the hot dog. Cool. And the trick here is that uh, it not only looks kind of cool, it fits better on like a typical bun. Good. But also it'll char a little bit. So do you need a certain kind of hot dog to make the spiral cut? Does it need to be a thicker dog or a thinner dog? No, or? Doesn't, it, it doesn't really matter. Although it probably ch would be better to get on the skewer a little bit. They just, they suggested getting on one of these skewers so you can kind of... Roll it around maybe? Rotate them a little bit and, and, and get a better well, that's spiral a, thing going. That's a pretty cool little technique right there. I like that. Yeah. Again, this is the first time I've done this. So I'm, I'm trying their technique. This is kind of a looser spiral. And uh, it'll actually make it almost like a little spring, is what I've seen. There you go. Yeah, well, well, I guess we'll find out we'll in a minute, won't we? I'm just going to try and then, uh, and then try this. So how about your hot dog? What do you like on your hot dog? I'm, I'm big on Chicago-style hot dogs, and I did a little looking up. The, the kind that I love growing up in, in the suburbs, there was a little place called the Hot Dog Hut on Waukegan Road in uh, Glenview. But, I mean, basically, every place in Chicago would make a Vienna all-beef hot dog. And Vienna is, like, the brand name. They just have a real specific taste and snap. And uh, so you like I a, really like. So you like a natural casing snap? You know, I wanted to look up, because I don't know if it was a natural casing. I like the snap. I definitely do. Um, but I'm also like you, too. I like hot dogs any, any way yet. Any way you do them. And so. then when we're out on the road, we do a lot of traveling around. We always make sure we ask somebody when we're wherever we are at a hotel desk or whatever, where's the best hot dog in town? Because we we're just you know why not stop and get a hot dog? They're not expensive. They're usually cultural. Um, it seems like every region and every area has their own style of hot dog. I you know I like a convenience store hot dog. Quite honestly, I'll do anything as long as you, know, you want a fresh bun. You want um, the Chicago style thing is pretty specific on the toppings so aside what, from aside from poppy seed bun which by the way I had a hard time finding uh, a kind of a normal hot dog bun so I found these all they really got to do is warm but uh, you want to keep an eye on those sure the one thing I'd say is with a Chicago style since that's what I'm into uh, you got onions you got a special kind of relish where I couldn't find it here but it's like almost like a neon green kind of relish but any relish will pretty much do. Sport peppers, which is like a small kind of, actually usually, you know the Texas peat in the vinegar? Yes. It's actually like a vinegar sauce. I'll use those, because I usually can't find them. I got pepperoncinis here just to kind of be close. I've seen some Chicago style with tomatoes, some without, and then also a, a big long uh, pickle. Deli pickle. Yeah, ketchup awesome. and mustard. So that's it. Then the one finishing touch at the very end is, Oh, I think you took it away. It's over here. The celery salt, 
which I don't know if you like that or not. But I do. I, I think I think the celery salt is the topping that makes the Chicago style. And the people Chicago don't style really know what's doing it. But, um, so do you put the dry toppings on first or wet? You know, I I I usually put the mustard down first and then stack everything else up on top I think of that's it. That's the way to go, Steve. So I guess the good thing is with the hot dog is they like are super quick. Those are those are good. I think the hot dogs are done. You ready? Yeah. All right. You want a turkey dog or you want a beef dog? Looks like yeah. Give me that turkey dog. All right, here it comes. Hey, check the spiral out. That was kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Now the beautiful thing about that is that it'll it'll hold on to more toppings. Oh, the toppings are getting the crevices. A little more char. I'm gonna add the uh, pickle and. Give it a bam of uh, celery salt. I'm gonna have an all beef dog, one of these fat ones. Get you a big pickle. Get it on there. I'm trying not to stick my finger in the pickle jar. Oh, just go ahead and there get it on go. there, I'm good. Pickle there. Pickle, pepperoni. Pepper. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and tear my pepper in half so it, it goes on the whole length of the bun. You wussy. That'll be beep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh. Celery salt, sure. Give it a bam. And you know what? I think I want to shake a little onion on mine too. How about you? Yeah, one last thing. That's it. Close as I can get to Chicago style. Poppy seed bun, celery seed and all. all right. Tomatoes optional. You're not going to bump the hot dogs. Really good. <laughs> hey, give it a shot. Uh, bumping sausage, bumping hot dogs. You're a crazy man. Hmm. And even though this is a turkey dog, with all the toppings, you can't tell the difference from a mainstream hot dog. I enjoy the, the sweet of the relish, the snap of the hot dog, that heat of the pepperoni, and that little sour coming out of the pickle makes this a great hot dog. Real easy. Go enjoy one during baseball season, even if it's in the backyard. That's right. Opening day baseball season. Make sure you send, if you make a hot dog, make sure you send us your great plate. We'd love to see what kind of dog you make in your neighborhood. We'll share them on Facebook and Great TV and Google+. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable, and every chance you get, hug your mama.